Animations bring back, bring back memories for most of us who grew up in this generation watching cartoons, sitting in front of the TV for hours and hours on Saturdays. Hello, I'm Robert Medlin, and I'm doing this on animation. An animation has evolved so much over the years. It all started with one man. The first the man is uh, Windsor McKay. He created the very first animation that I could think of and find. He, and he was the first to come up with the technology, technological process of recording animations using frame, different frames. The first one we used to do this was 4,000 frames hand drawn. And it was a uh, little Mimo Slumberland. And it was all hand drawn in different places. So the first frame was basically you can you draw one picture and then on another page draw another picture. The same picture but in a different position. And this is kinda like a flip book, if you think about it. This brings us to another man, Walt Disney. The birth of the mouse that we all know and love. Mickey Mouse. In 1922, Mickey Mouse came into film, you know, came into the animation scene. He, one famous one was Mickey Mouse Steamboat, which Walt Disney never stopped making animations and became popular for opening up his amusement parks for to share with everybody. After Walt Disney died, Disney never stopped making movies as a company. And in the 90s, they teamed up with a well-known computer genius, the late Steve Jobs. He started a company called Pixar, which then later was acquired by Disney, producing 2D animation films. This has never been done before, and from the 90s on to the, pretty much till now, the technology has grown over the years also. It, all animations today are computer, computer generated, but first hand drawn. Back then, they were all hand drawn. And then, there was no computers back then for, to do it. Anyone with a computer today can either create animations and stuff if you have the talent to draw, or design process on the computer. The two main programs I would think would be important is Blender, which is a free open source software that you can do 3D modeling in, and 3D's Max, which is another alternative, but not cheap alternative. It's a pro tool that you can use to create animation. That's my uh, presentation on animations.